To date, stylometric studies on the Book of Mormon have repeatedly demonstrated that it has multiple distinct writing styles, and that those styles are consistent with the authors designated within the text itself. For example, the colored clouds in this graph show how the writings of major Book of Mormon authors form distinct clusters based on their vocabulary and on how frequently they used certain words. One may naturally wonder, though, if the Book of Mormon's diversity of style is in some way unique or impressive. In a recent study, researchers statistically analyzed the word patterns of fictional characters created by four highly regarded 19th century novelists — Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, James Fenimore Cooper, and Mark Twain. As depicted in this graph, their results show that, to varying degrees, each author was able to create a distinct voice for each of the fictional characters in their stories. Statistically speaking, it can be said that the voice of Jane Austen's Elizabeth Bennet is truly distinct from the voice of her love interest, Mr. Darcy, and Mark Twain's character Tom Sawyer really does have a different voice than his friend Huckleberry Finn. While the characters' voices generally cluster together by the author who created them, they are distinct enough to consider them as separate from one another. Having successfully detected the distinct voices of these characters created by 19th century novelists, the research team next applied the same stylometric method to the characters in the Book of Mormon. The results show that the diversity of voices in the Book of Mormon is remarkable, in that it contains 28 distinct voices that align with the words spoken by 28 different characters in the text. Strikingly, its voice diversity is even greater than the composite diversity achieved by Austin, Dickens, Cooper, and Twain in eight of their novels combined. In this graph, the orange cloud represents the voice diversity of the Book of Mormon, which is being compared to the voice diversity of the other 19th century authors. These results provide statistical evidence in support of the Book of Mormon's internal claims about its authorship. Even if Joseph Smith had been a skilled and experienced writer, in order to fabricate the Book of Mormon, he would have needed an ability to create distinct fictional voices that surpassed some of the greatest novelists of his day. Yet Joseph himself and those who knew him well all insisted that he was unskilled as a writer. Furthermore, unlike the great novelists of Joseph Smith's day, there is no evidence that he engaged in any preparatory literary efforts before translating the Book of Mormon. It's difficult to imagine that a frontier farmer with limited formal education and no literary accomplishments whatsoever could have created a work of fiction with such an array of statistically diverse voices, and he would have had to do it in only about 90 days. In contrast to this scenario, the Book of Mormon's own claims about its authorship are solidly supported by the results of this most recent stylometric analysis. If the Book of Mormon's source texts were truly written by many ancient prophets over the course of a thousand years, then that would naturally explain why its voice diversity is so impressive. And now you know why.